It was a time of change. It was a grand experiment, and underneath it, I think, it was a hunger to know God and truth. Where do we go from here? Enter the Jesus movement. God's spirit swept across the country. We'll let the people know Jesus is the Lord. I just remember that God was moving. Every generation needs a new song to express their faith in a new way. You could feel the presence of God in the music. Love Song was a band that was a bunch of hippies in the right place at the right time. Love Song would hear his voice. Back in 1970, these hippies came in. God gave us songs that were unique to that time and spoke to people's hearts. And as they started to play, the spirit. They were actually pioneers of writing songs that spoke to people outside the walls of the church. But there was more than just great music. God's hand was on this music. And I would later come to understand that that was the anointing of God. This was the musical language that I wanted to hear. Wow. These, these guys are like a combination between the Beatles and the Beach Boys. Little country church on the edge of town. Do, 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 do. Their songs would become part of the soundtrack of the Jesus Movement. Hundreds of thousands of people, if not millions, got saved during that Jesus movement. Love Song was a vehicle that God used to spread the gospel with young people at that time. The Jesus People movement and Love Song in particular, God did an incredible thing in my family's life, uh, which has impacted me. We started singing and people's hearts would change. You could yeah. just see it. You could see it like a ripple through the crowd. The glory of the whole experience as the uh, beach is just lined with thousands of people singing the choruses and praising the Lord, then walking out into the water and the bearing of the past, and then when they realize that all of the past is gone, that it's all been buried, that God has absolutely nothing against them, the slate is clean, it's a brand new life, and it, it's indescribable. The Jesus Revolution exploded. It was Wild. Expo 72 was an event in Dallas, Texas. It was sort of the idea of Christian Woodstock. So it was easily estimated to be 130, 140,000 people where you have to realize these people came from all over the world. Love Songs album had become this huge hit. Like a tsunami had hit me from open the roof and came down on me. First time anybody, many of these people had ever seen anybody, any hippies actually minister with music and rock and roll and all that. It was a language they understood that was like prison doors opening. It was just drowning in God's love and it was wonderful. The music of Love Song was part of the soundtrack of the last great American revival. Jesus puts the song in our hearts. Their music would inspire a generation of new believers. I'm not really sure that I would be doing what I'm doing today if it hadn't been for Love Song and that record. And that record changed my life. I think they really changed the status quo of what was acceptable to be played in church. Bob Dylan was like the voice of a generation. Love Song is the voice of our generation. I'm excited to, to hopefully in some way be a part of what that did and continue that, passing that torch along to somebody else. Feel the love, the Son of God. Love Song would help launch a new genre of music and ministry. Feel the love. Just like the British invasion was not possible without the Beatles, the worship invasion would not be possible without Love Song. It was the cutting edge, as far as I was concerned. This was a tipping point thing, and kind of set the tone for what is contemporary Christian music today, in my opinion. We just looked at each other and said, man, did that really happen? It was so unbelievable, yeah. your mind couldn't quite settle in on it. I think that we successfully communicate the gospel very effectively through music. That's, that's to me, what Love Song has always been about. And then the rest is pretty much history. It is my great honor to induct Love Song into the Gospel Music Hall of Fame. Love you guys. Love Song, the band 
the ministry, the movement. Let it take.